Yeah, we'll open up the opening statement from head coach Travis Mays and then open the floor for questions. Well, I'll tell you what, to get the first conference win, whether it's at home or not, a conference win to me is a conference win, especially when you uh, have set some early goals at the beginning of the season. And I, when you have players buying in to what it is uh, that the team goals that have been set, you have to enjoy this victory. How weird is it to get your first conference win when you have a 12 to 19 assist to turnover ratio? When you get a win, nothing about it is weird. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to enjoy it. Uh, we've been t we talked about it before the game. We talked about trying to get our, our turnovers reduced. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's something that we're going to work on. And, and it's something that we can control. I just think we, we get a little bit in a hurry. If we can slow it down a little bit, still a little bit more pause, we can, we can chop that off about six or seven less turnovers. Ten days since your last game, how concerned were you and your staff about the layoff, about rust, and for Devery and Alicia. How did you guys feel in terms of your legs, your stamina, your endurance with that long layoff? Um, I mean, I think it was needed. We all needed a break. And then we came in, we, had, we were re-energized. We really wanted, like, it's a new season. That's what we've been saying the whole time. And um, I mean, we really want to come out. We want to win these games. So even though there was a break, we kind of refocused. and. I think we had some pretty good practices leading up into it, so we felt pretty confident. Um, Coach Travis did a really good job of helping us realize that conference is important and is exciting. So it was hard to not come out there energetic and to um, come out hard because it's, it was a big game and every game of conference is a big game. So it's You hard. transferred here with a reputation as a shooter and today you go four for five from three, which was more than you had, almost more than you had in the whole season leading up to it. What got into you today? Um, I think just coming off an injury, it's just finding yourself. So just trusting, like he said, trusting, buying into the game plan and just not forcing anything and just taking what the game gives me. I think that's a big part of it. And then my teammates just finding me when I'm open. It's yeah. always nice. We all have faith in Dev. Like we know preseason, she's a shooter. Like she unfortunately did get injured, but we all know like that's what we expect her to do. Like that wasn't just a good game for Dev, that's what she can do every single game. So I think it's good that she's seen what she can do now and that's going to be a big help in conference for us. How much easier is it for you and Deja and Steph when she's out here hitting threes? Well, it's so much easier because the guards can't double down. Like it spreads the defense, it makes everyone more open. So it's like we really need that from her. You go into halftime with a one point lead and Cincinnati hit zero field goals in the third period and four for 31 in the second half. What did you say at halftime? <laughs> what I said at halftime is that it looked as if we were trying to go for the home run in, in the first three to four minutes. And it's a 40 minute game and it looks like we were in a hurry. I thought we missed um, four to seven wide open layups. And I think that affects your mentality on the defensive end. I think if you think you have something easy, you miss it. It almost looked as the energy was being transferred to Cincinnati. So I told him in the second half, just go out there and do what you do and do it well. You just do it well. And we always have hung our hats on our defense. I said at the beginning of the game, I want them to see the defensive team that we worked hard to become and what we showed at the beginning of the year. And that team showed up in the third quarter. Alicia, you got your ninth double-double today. Mm -hmm. You also had six blocks, which is a career high for you um, after, what was it, 15 in the first 13 games. Were you looking for more block shots, or was that just the way the game came to you? No, not really. I think it just came to me. Um, coach has really been on me about getting into the right positions on defense, so I probably put myself in positions to block more shots. Um, that's the only thing that possibly has changed, but yeah. Cincinnati's top two scorers, Shanice Johnson and Anna Owens, came in averaging 28 points, and you guys held them to 10 between them. What was the focus of your defensive game plan today? Well, we knew what 
the head of the snake was. We knew it was Owens. She, we knew that she pushed it in transition. And we knew Johnson was an unbelievable athlete that looks to score every time she touched. So it was definitely a focus of our defense. But we let one of them get away. And she hurt us in the first half. She got the game. It was only a one-point game, I think, going into halftime. And we just wanted to make some adjustments. So I'm glad we got the entire team slowed down. Bianca Quisenberry led them with 19 points, but eight of them came from the line. She went four for 12 from the floor. Are you okay with the way your team defended her, even though she had 19 points? Not in the first half, absolutely not. In the second half, I mean, I, I think we played, we locked in, we found our defensive rhythm and our defensive confidence. After that, we went into a, a little stretch where we started putting them on the foul line. Only way they could score was off of the, on the foul line. So I tried to uh, switch the defenses up to give us a, a reset. And uh, I'm satisfied with the way that we played total defense at the end of the game. But not for a 40-minute game, we gave her too much in the first half. 17-point win today, longest winning streak since any of you have been here now with, mm -hmm. with four straight. And now you go on the road for your first conference road game. Where's the confidence level of this team as you head off to East Carolina? Carolina. Um, I mean, I think we know what we can do. So we're confident in like what we can do as a team and we're not really worried about who we're playing. Just if we came out, come out and um, play how we know we can play, then I think we're pre feeling pretty confident. Um, Coach always tells us the strength of our team is the team. So if I think if we travel and we stick together and we do what we know um, we can do, stick to the game plan, we should be fine. And road games shouldn't matter. It should just, we should come together even more. Anything else? Thank you. You're welcome. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Yeah.